everybody, Stern is saying, and welcome to Face Cam with Jen, episode 16. And I'll admit, I didn't want to make this a Face Cam episode, but this is utterly important that I do mention stuff to you guys. Did mention in yesterday's, was it yesterday's Face Cam? Yeah, I think it was a face cam. I think it was, why did I say yesterday, last face cam that I've been back in the dorms due to family issues and I need to bring atten a little bit more attention. We'll bring into the scenario as to what's actually going on. See, on, let's see, today is the 11th? Yeah, Sunday, January 11th. On Thursday, the, what would have that been? The 8th, January the 8th. I get told by my parents that my sister, um, something's wrong with the electricity in the house my sister is staying at. And... She has to spend, you know, a couple of nights at home, and that's automatically already a problem. It, and it's, and I know a lot of you are probably wondering, well, why is that a problem? Why is that a problem at all? Well, first of all, she also has her two kids, but first of all, that house is really not made to accommodate, uh, what would it be at that point, eight people? Especially with all the stuff that could definitely hurt the, the kids in the basement. But, anyway. But, the other thing is, is I refuse to live in the same build it same place as my sister. And you're probably wondering, like, what would have caused that? Well, if you had a sibling who you're pretty sure hated you and probably still hates you because by being born, there is another thing that takes away attention. I'm pretty sure she hated my existence because I was taking away attention. And I have a bad feeling she still hates me. She made me feel worthless. She made me feel like what I was doing in life was nothing at all. She made me pretty much feel like absolutely, positively a whole lot of crap. And... She didn't even cause myself and Jake to get into arguments with each other. She would provoke that because she loves causing drama. She loved causing drama. She loved trying to think that she was the, the alpha female in the house and my mom wasn't hit taking any of that crap. Her actual mom is a total piece of crap, and, well, Apple also doesn't fall too far to the truth of the case of my dad, because he did it without even considering what anybody else thought. Didn't consider what I thought, didn't consider what my mom, his wife thought, didn't consider what his son thought. He just, he just did it anyway. Like, you fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of horrible shit. You let your daughter, who has caused... So much problems, so much money problems, so much emotional problems, so much dumb shit. Back into the house with her two children because she is your daughter and you don't care what anybody else says or does. The risk of having a house completely torn apart. You, you risk a house being torn apart. You risk... And I mean, 
in a metaphorical, but I almost also mean in a literal sense, because probably would tear that, I don't know. But, like, hell, I wanted to stay in that house. I mean, it was only going to be temporary, but then they convinced my grandfather to let her live there. No, I'm not sticking around, and no, neither is my mom. I mean, I'm fine here until May, but what am I going to do once the semester's done? I can't go back there. I can't go back there. I refuse to go back there. Because it would basically be living in the same building as a verbal abuser. An emotional and a verbal abuser. And that's what my sister did. The verbal and emotional abuse. And not only that, but to be oppressed and con borderline condemned by my own father, who also who also has caused emotional abuse by neglecting me. By, well not neglect, but ignoring me as I grew up. And I refused to go back there. And just hearing that a couple hours ago, still, it felt like a shot to the gut, even though I should know better. And just because I know better doesn't mean it hurts less. It hurts just as bad, maybe even worse, because you knew what was going to happen. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Summer. If I don't have any place to go but there, something's going to end up hurt. Something is not going to end well, and it'll probably just end up towards me. Because I, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that at all. I don't want to deal with that all over again. Thanks, please,